All right, so um, it's about, oh, I don't know, quarter to six Friday. I believe today is the 23rd or something like that of January 2014. Uh, I'm going to periodically post some updates and some a video diary of kind of what's going on. Um, this morning, uh, Dr. Cabral, my endocrinologist, called me today. I had some uh, tests done the other day and Today I found out I have thyroid cancer. Lucky me. It's always something. Never stops. Never fails. Uh, for you those who know me, you know I had a kidney transplant almost 20 years ago. It'll be 20 years in March. And uh, part of the side effects of that kidney transplant, uh, well, part of the treatment of that kidney transplant is medication. And that medication has side effects which can cause cancer. So here I am. Um... I'm in my car right now driving home from work. I did just tell Kim on the telephone. I am not going to tell my boys. I'm going to go through this whole thing and not tell my boys. And uh, try to make it through the other side. They'll ask me what happened to my neck. I'll tell them. Um, I will have to have some ultrasounds coming next week. And then talk to a surgeon the following week. And I uh, have to get my thyroid removed. And pray to God that the, the cancer has not spread. And also... I uh, hope it doesn't ever come back in any other way. So we'll do some, some tests to make sure it hasn't spread to my lymph nodes, which I hope it has not. It's a little aggravating because I did have this test, I don't know, five years ago or so, and it came back negative. Um, I wonder if it was really positive all this time, and I didn't know it. So, you know, I'm going to find out a little bit more about that. My objective right now, though, is to possibly have a second opinion on this before I decide to go ahead and let them start cutting me up. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to go out and probably look at some other treatments. I have peeked at the internet today and have found out that there are some other treatments out there. Um, I'm going to check it out, see what else is out there, even if I have to travel. You know, God has been good to me and has uh, allowed me to have a little bit of money in my pocket at this time of my life. And, uh, and uh, you know, I thank God for that. So I'm going to take some of that and... Um, Maybe travel around a little bit and find out what I got to do. I'm going to find out who the leading authority in the world is on this on this cancer and go out and try it. So I've had some skin cancers and now I've got thyroid cancer. I've had a kidney transplant. I've had kidneys removed. I've had seizures over my lifetime, and you know, every you know, I've got blood pressure issues and some heart disease. And uh, man, I'm 48 years old. I'm still kicking. I think everything that we do and how we feel is about what's up here. And so far, nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with the brain. And I feel good. I feel good about life. Um, my attitude's always been strong about everything I've ever gone through. Um, I'm here for my boys, man. I'm here for my kids. I'm here for Kim and I'm here for my kids. And I'm here for nothing else. And I, uh, I'll i go out. If I have to go out, hopefully leave them all a little something, something. So that they don't have to worry about life. The hardships of life. Uh, but my plan is to stay here for a very long time and make sure my boys are, are grow up as productive citizens of this country and in, of society and don't hurt anybody and grow up really good and I love them to death. And I just want to tell you, Carson and Hunter and, and Braxton, that Daddy loves you more than life itself and that I will take this ailment on so that you don't ever have to take these ailments on. I'll take all your pain, my boys for you and I think all of us as parents will well signing out today again I will periodically get back to everybody and whenever I think about it I uh put this on a video post or something later on I don't know figure out how to do all that crap um you have a good day